Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, welcome back to the Total War Three Kingdoms Yuan Shu campaign. Which, uh, man, man, oh man, oh man, has this been a struggle from pretty much beginning to end, you know? Even, even early on. I remember when Dong Zhuo took my capital, like, <laughs> in the first couple turns. Oh my god. Uh, we just got... War wariness. People having taste of Sweden will come for it again sometimes violently. Boy, if my people have war wariness, they are they are maximum war wariness, if that's the case, because I have nothing but war. I can't I I wish I could have peace. There is no peace for Barb. There is only pain. <laughs> there is only war and pain. I, it be, you know, it makes sense if, like, the AI was sometimes inclined towards peace, but they rarely are. Anyway, uh, if you watched recently, uh, shit has been going uh, real bad at all times. Um, all right, this is my major issue right now, is I have to try to go save Sima Yi. I'm being attacked by uh, Zheng Zhang, who I destroyed Zheng Zhang's faction. Uh, Zheng Zhang is supposed to be up here in this area right over here, but I kicked Zheng Zhang out and fucking destroyed her because she declared war on me or I, or I declared war on her. I don't remember, but apparently she's back for revenge. Like she's back for more. So I have to go. I have to save Sima Yi. Otherwise, I'm going to get caught by these armies. I think I can save Sima Yi pretty easily. I just have to win this battle. This is telling me I'm going to have like a really hard time in this battle. I don't know if I fully believe it. I think I'll be okay here. I'm not, I almost don't want to try offering surrender. But I would also really like to kill Zheng Zheng. <laughs> I don't know. But I definitely have to do something. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Do they have any cavalry? So they have no cavalry. We're going to start this battle. Uh, we're outnumbered. But I don't really think that they, their, their forces are a massive threat to me. Uh, I also have the shield wall formation, which will help. I also have a lot of archers. But man, 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 man. I also have to try. I also have to make sure Yuan Shu is safe as well. One thing that would really tip this in my favor is if I could get the army back from the north. The one that's cleaning up the Liu Bei shit. If we could, if we, could uh, we could deal with that. If we could get them back, that would be very helpful. So yeah, my army is very weak. We are very, very weak. Um, this is, I had an, this army fought like fucking heroes against the most ridiculous odds you've ever seen. And managed to win. Alright. We're just gonna have to make do with what we got. It's really funny how every single unit I had got messed up. Like every single one. The ones that escaped the most were these uh were these Azure Dragons. They escaped the most damage. Okay, um... Looks like they're gonna have some reinforcements coming in. And we're just gonna have to see how this goes. Yeah, my men are in, uh, are pretty rough. Still have these Protectors of Heaven. The Protectors of Heaven racked up some massive kills in the most recent battle trebuchet is still in good shape archers are mostly fine um this we're gonna have to rely on here okay. the reinforcements are approaching from this direction um Kind of, I'm, I'm kind of hoping. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel pretty confident though. I feel confident in this battle. I just don't. I don't like our numbers being so bad. I just really don't. So they might be moving out against me.
Yeah, it looks like they're coming to a coming to a halt. Oh god, I I really don't like my chances here. Oh man, I mean they're, they're, they've got their this army. If it was just Zhang Zhang, that would be not a big deal. There just had to be a reinforcing army here as well, didn't there? I think the reinforcements are approaching from here. Uh, let's see, what do we want to hit? They've got a lot of cavalry coming. Wow, Zheng Jiang's bodyguard is massive. Holy crap. One cavalry charge would probably wipe out a huge number of my spear guards. Let's shoot our trebuchet. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Not you. I don't, I don't know why my archers were selected. Let's aim our trebuchet at... All right, I, I made a slight error there. I'm going to aim my trebuchet at Zheng Jiang and try to get some kills like that. Does this give me more? It gives me melee evasion. Sure, I'll pop these guys into this formation. It's just going to give me a lot of a lot of charge resistance, I guess. It's like some of them are routing. Zeng Jan's getting shot up pretty good. The other army's arriving. I think we're doing okay right now. Yeah, Zeng Jiang's dropping like flies. That was the bad charge I was afraid of here. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Let's uh, cease fire on my, on my archers because I'd like to save some ammo. Sectors of Heaven are still fighting on over here. Uh, she may be... Oh, uh, yeah, she's unbreakable. Uh, maybe she'll finally die. All right, we're going to send our cavalry over to deal with this. These archer militias. And Zheng Jiang's about to die anyway. Let's go bring my generals back this way to go help wipe this out. Oh, I think that was the death of Zheng Jiang right there, unless she's escaped somehow. Okay, my trebuchet has opened fire on their men. And we're wiping out this army over here. Yeah, they've shattered. All right, let's pull back here. All right, resume fire with our archers. Got some G militias coming in. Uh, my archers are getting shot, or my cavalry is getting shot a bit. Oh, I put them on. I didn't put them on fire. Well, I put them in skirmish. We're fighting here. We're fighting the cavalry with our spears. That's all well and good. Uh, let's move my cavalry into position. If we can kill their generals, that would also really help us. I think after this battle, I need to run these men away. 
Otherwise, I think I will die. It looks like things are going pretty well. Some of my units might be getting close to routing here. Um, we're going to send a cavalry charge in there. And a cavalry charge there. I need to disrupt the, the amount of missiles coming at me right now. Okay, you got some nice routing going on here. That unit only has nine men left in it. Oh my god, this poor army. <laughs> this poor army has been dealt the the worst hand ever. Well my cavalry isn't in my cavalry is doing its work. But just our numbers are just so low is the problem. We've like run out of ammo everywhere as well. It's like Sima Yi's gotten into those archers. All right. Good God, man. Can we leave me alone now? Heroic victory. Can you leave me alone? Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is goddamn ridiculous. Leave me alone. All right. All my men did good. Uh, cavalry was the key. They had very little cavalry. And that was all really... Uh, my, uh, my archers and cavalry won that battle. Did Zhang Zhang just die? Somehow... Oh, she escaped. Of course she escaped. Um, we're just going to go ahead and release you. Oh, well, we captured Zhang Zhang. We captured her. Uh, you know what, Zhang Zhang? You have crossed me for the last time. Oh, look at that. She gets some pretty crazy units. I can't employ her. Uh, if you spare me, I shall return to take my vengeance upon you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I could really use the extra replenishment here, I think. Oh, this guy died. Oh, no. I didn't even notice he died. Well, fucking rip that guy, I guess. <laughs> What's funny is that I had I had so few deaths in my last campaign, and now I can't keep I can't keep uh, I can't keep a general alive to save my life. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hire C Yun, I guess. I don't really have much of a choice here. Killed in battle. Uh, killed in battle. Relationship lost. Oh wow! So they lost their relationship because I killed him or something. So can this army even move? That army can move. Okay, even if they take. Uh, even if they take this fat, this city back, I'm going to go retreat this army to Chen because they desperately need to retrain this poor, that poor army got the shit kicked out of them in a lot of battles. All right. Well, we have, we have all the weapons in the world. What does expertise even do? It's construction cost and melee, uh, melee dodging enables fatigue immunity. That's pretty dope. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and let's give him this. We'll give him the red sisters. We'll give him this one. Dude, whoever wears this dignified raiment doesn't live long. <laughs> I have to say. It's like, it's like cursed. Enables loose. Uh. More resolve. Resolve and authority. I guess we'll give him the legalist fanatic be morale for militia authority resolve we'll give him more resolve okay and this guy's obviously got to level up but uh okay it looks like i hope sima yi is safe for a little while oh man that this unit this unit needs a lot of time to retrain over here 
there because they got they got royally beat up i wonder if there's any units i could like swap out i'm i don't have a lot of i don't have a lot of income right now so probably not but let's see Just trying to see that whatever different units i had if i could get some uh warriors of the left could be really nice in this army too i think that army's fine all right, so Sunsei is over here too. Let's see if we can go. This is just a garbage army running around. This is one of the remnants of Kong Rong's forces. Oh, it looks like Sunsei has no movement points. Okay, never mind. Can't do anything there. Okay, uh, this is Yuan Shu is recovering from winning a massive battle over here. He got kind of fucked up too. So we're gonna try to take him back to Jiangling as soon as we can. I need to get him out of the march so he can retrain though. All right, Liu, Liu, we're going to come over here and deal with Liu Bei in just a moment. Uh, how is this army doing? So this army's on its way to Shofang. All right. All right, well, it's time for Liu Bei to pay the piper here. He is fortified in my, in my land. Uh, he thinks this protects him. We are going to go. It says we're all oh, it says we're going to have a valiant defeat. They're going to get massacred. And the reason why they're going to get massacred is I have two trebuchets in this army now. And this is this is gonna go horrible for them. Maybe this time Liu Bei won't escape because I've do, I've done this exact thing to Liu Bei before and he escaped somehow. Maybe he won't be so lucky. They don't have how many units of archers? They have one, two, three, four units of archers. The rest is infantry. So my archers are also gonna have a field day too. Um, if I could get rid of them before the battle starts, that'd be even better. Okay, I'd like some nice, clear ground to trebuchet the holy shit out of you. I almost wonder if I should put a trebuchet on both sides. <laughs> you know, actually, that's not a bad idea, because if I put a trebuchet on one side... And then trebuchet on, is this? I don't really like my angle over here. We're gonna, we're gonna get a nice clean line of fire from here. So we're gonna put two spearmen here. Uh, two spearmen here. Dude, I don't even remember what it's like to have an army that's not completely decimated. <laughs> What's it like to have armies that aren't completely annihilated? All right, we're going to put these units here. We're just trying to... I'm just splitting up my men to make sure... I don't want them charging out. I don't think the AI would even do that, but I just want to make sure. Uh, let's see, let's put these units here. And drop these guys into this. Okay, uh, let's keep the trebuchets off of fire at will. Make sure they are on flaming shot. And let us begin the battle. We're going to hit that building there. And let's burn these buildings. The fire, once the fire catches, we'll be in really good shape. I almost wonder if um, maybe I should move my trebuchet on this side. All right, fire spread. Yeah, that fire spread very quickly. So all these towers are going to burn before too long. All right, fire's started. The fire burning, we can just freely bombard their men. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna move up. We're gonna move up my shield wall spearman onto this little hill right here. I doubt there's going to be much of a fort left by the time I get in. Okay. While you're there, I got plenty of ammo. Shooting from both sides was a pretty smart call. It gave me a nice field of vision on a lot of their men. Let's go ahead and move up my archers. Uh, this trebuchet is actually running out of ammo a bit. All right, we are getting shot by their archers. Uh, won't do them too much good. We are protected and we will return fire very soon ourselves. This uh, little like husk of a tower there is actually protecting them a lot. <laughs> it's just pretty immune. It's pretty amusing, honestly, that they get that much protection from that. Yeah, look at that. That that has saved this unit more than once. Go uh, shoot the Jian sword cavalry. Gonna edge our men forward just a bit. So these guys do have some ammunition. All right, archers are in position. Looks like we actually maybe took some fire there. Uh, let's see. I'd like to very much so like to murder their Jian, their Jian sword cavalry. The Jian Sword Cavalry is a very strong unit. I'd, I'd like to get rid of that as soon as I possibly can. Okay, that unit's routing. Shoot this uh, mounted halberd over here. Uh, we can actually bring up our cavalry here. So my archers went forward a little too much. Okay, um... Definitely wasted some ammo on these routing units. I don't know what it is, but they love when they get when they get on a target, they love shooting routing units for some reason. You think we'd prioritize a target like Jang Fei, right? And there's Liu Bei himself.
Let's go ahead and edge these men forward. I can edge forward here. Uh, edge forward here as well. Okay, we're gonna break the box formation, then we're just gonna run in there and charge. Run in here and charge. Okay, cavalry's coming in. Should be a nice big charge right here on these swords. Yeah, that saber militia didn't have much, any chance. My general's coming in for another charge. We can wipe those guys out. All right, we're attacking from all sides now. Let's go bring in my other general as well. All right, the thing I fear the most right now is uh, fighting Zhang Fei. Uh, and with less so Liu Bei, mostly Zhang Fei right now. Really like him to be engaged with a shitload of my spearmen and just hopefully wear him out like that. But. Okay, I've got a, I've got a straight line directly to their generals here. Charging uh, Liu Bei with my Azure Dragons here. And we're going to be fighting Zhang Fei here momentarily. We've also completely surrounded this unit of G Militia. They're going to be routing very soon. And hopefully Jiang Fei does not escape this time. And hopefully Liu Bei does not escape either. So he's got a lot of morale. It would not surprise me to lose, to lose that fight. And it looks like they've actually routed from army losses, so it'll never come to that. I feel like we've had this exact situation where Liu Bei is running from me. And there he is. He's just running away from me again. I think I've been in this exact situation before. Can we capture Liu Bei, damage him, hurt him? Can we do something? He's right there. There he goes. Still getting shot by his towers, I see. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're, it's not worth it. Whatever, let him go. All right, archers, trebuchet, all did their part. Uh, cavalry did well. I got a bad cavalry charge on my rapid tigers from, I think it was their, yeah, it was that general dude. But what are you gonna do? And that's it. Yep, escapes again. What are you gonna do? Zhu Hao, administrator of Dong, trustworthy. If under my head, then I am loyal to this faction. Uh, we'll just execute you. Oh, we captured Liu Bei. Wow. Well, we captured Liu Bei. I'd kind of like to kill him. What's what's his weapon? Plus 12 resolve, plus 9 instinct, plus 15 authority. Damn. Well, Liu Bei, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to let you know this, but I think it's time you died. Yep. Goodbye, Liu Bei. And uh, let's go ahead and ransom the remaining men for the moolah. And rest in peace, Liu Bei. I think we can actually chase down Guan Yu here. 
I feel a little bad killing Liu Bei. <laughs> I feel a little bad. All right, Gua, uh, Zhang Fei is here. Let's just, I don't want to fight this. Let's just delegate. And now Zhang Fei is dead. Zhang, Zhang Fei is dead. Uh, I guess let's just ransom those men too, right? Well, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just wounded. Okay. Either way, uh, we, we dealt with all that. We have a really strong army here to try to help deal with all this bullshit coming in. There's a lot of Yuan Tan armies lurking. There's another Liu Bei army and there's two Yuan Tan armies. A lot of shit going on. Okay, so I think that's all I can do this turn. That was a pretty fucking busy turn. A lot of shit went down. This turn, this turn was actually in the previous episode too. I think that's all I can do. Uh, what was that thing I just gained? Oh, maybe I, could, I, you know, I probably have some really cool stuff I could equip right now. I wonder, I wonder who's in need of something. This guy is wielding these axes. I like how by the end of a campaign, your men are just completely decked out in really cool shit. Oh yeah, this guy needs some, some Yang, Yang Hui needs some shit. Let's see, plus nine instinct. Uh, plus nine instinct, plus 15 resolve, minus nine expertise. Uh, I guess we'll give him the, uh, battle axe. What does this do? This unlocks surplus. Plus six morale for melee cavalry in his own army. I guess would this help? Would that raise their morale? Yeah, I guess that does raise his morale. Okay, we'll give more morale to my cavalry here because he, there's a lot of cavalry under his command. Plus eight cunning, plus eight, uh, plus six morale for melee cavalry in his own army. That'd be pretty fucking cool to have that much morale on, on these men. I guess we'll give it to him. Why not? Even more morale for these melee cavalry. I think so. morale is weird. Like what the hell does morale even do? I think morale just means how well your men will fight and how hard they will be to break. Okay, so that was, uh, I think that's our turn. Still lots of shit to do, obviously. Um, hopefully we can get here and start. I'd really like to bring this army back, but all right, let's end our turn. Let's see how everything goes. Listen, that Liu Bei army just marched right past Ying Chuan. just i'm just surrounded by many many armies honestly so this is like i'm about to lose ying chuan do i want to fight this you know i don't have the energy to fight this go ahead i really i just don't have the energy for it it's it's a it's a travesty that they only lost 288 men but i just i just don't have the energy to fight you right now I fought a lot of battles. I can't, I, I just, honestly, I just want a turn to end. <laughs> I really do. Kingdom of Wei is still running around. Kingdom of Wu. They're still running around. So pretty much all of my borders are under constant threat. What's going on? Hong Rong's garbage is still running around. All right, looks like none of my cities got under siege this time, which is which is nice. That's rare. So Liu Bei is now Ying Jing because we killed Liu Bei in battle. This faction is now under control of Li Ying Jing. Yeah, Ying Jing. Rest in peace, Liu Bei. That's like at the end of my Liu Bei campaign, I was I was Wei Lan Shu, who was Liu Bei's wife. So we lost that to Yuan Tan. Cow Cow Ambush. Completed the city over at Shangdang. 
This entire border is really dangerous with Yuantan up here. Really, really dangerous. Um, does it have a garrison here? I do have a garrison. Um, I can upgrade this one. Honestly, it's really hard to upgrade any buildings right now just because I need to, I need every cent I can get. So I'm going to guess that they're probably going to attack Chen. Uh, we got Cow Cow. It's pretty much two, two full-sized armies over here. I really don't think they're going to attack me over there, uh, at the city. I don't see that as a likely thing. Uh, let's see. Could I swap this unit? I could actually swap these axe bands. Axe bands are not very good. The best thing about the axe bands is that they have the shield wall, but they're very weak against cavalry. This army in general is really weak against cavalry. Could use some uh, protectors of heaven. All right, we're gonna swap in uh, some protectors of heaven over here. And Yuan Shu's army. It's a lot of money, but you know it is what it is. Plus ten military supplies. Uh, cannot initiate battles. Recruitment, recruitment, and replenishment is enabled. All right. I guess you want shoot or you want my faction leaders just kind of sitting there like a like a, a guard. I guess he's just guarding that area. I mean, I don't really see what else I could do with him. All right, let's go take uh Shofang. I can't take it this turn because I have to get closer. We're gonna go take Shofang next. Am I still under siege over here? I am. We're bringing a close defeat. Hmm. Well, we're gonna cancel. How long until uh? How long do you, until uh, things wear out? Does it tell you? Uh, what does it say? Oh, five turns before they surrender. You know, we're going to try to outlast them for a bit. Um, I don't even know when attrition is going to start taking hold. We're, we're not suffering attrition yet. I can't really move this army right now. This army is needed where they are. Another army coming in there. Let's go ahead and increase the garrison here real quick. You know, with all these garrisons around, you'd think like, I don't know. The the AI just absolutely refuses to fight you in your sieges, in your in your cities. I, res I understand that. I get that. I guess I did fight that one siege a while ago that I lost, but that was, I was so outrageously outnumbered that it like didn't even matter. Uh, let's see. I don't want I don't want them attacking here and completely overwhelming uh, Simi Yi. So I'm gonna move Sun Se over this way. I don't think they're gonna attack now. If they did, that would be very foolhardy of them. And I think that's all I can do. Kind of slowly bleeding money at this point, but we'll get some new factions soon. Let's go ahead and end our turn. More and more armies arriving. Wow. A lot of Liu Bei armies arriving right now. So this is obviously a massacre. We have no chance. I only have 352 men. We're just going to delegate. But it's a good thing Sima Yi wasn't there because Sima Yi would have almost certainly died. And they're bleeding their manpower going after my livestock farms.
All right, I think that's going to be the entire turn. Oh, God, this campaign's exhausting. All right, I kind of saw that army coming. It looks like Runan's under attack. Um, all right, lost my, lost my farm. I'm actually at minus one food. Being attacked at Runan. Can I actually attack back? Oh, wow. So that army didn't have enough time to like fully like get ready, I guess. I guess that makes sense because you won't want you don't want just qu like quickly building a garrison anyway, right? Because that'd be pretty shitty. So I guess that makes sense. Plus eight public order. So I've got like some buildings here. It's, pre it's pretty funny. I've got these buildings that I can't build. Which <laughs> is pretty amusing. I'm kind of wondering if I throw up here with, uh, with Sunsei, if I roll up and fortify. No, it won't let me. Well, I guess we'll keep back for now and uh, make sure we're retraining over there. Uh, we have a new tech. Let's go see what our new tech could be. 50% income, minus 25% building upkeep. What is my building upkeep right now? 1.6k, that's like nothing. It's not that much. I think maybe more income from peasantry would be good. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's see, plus 50% income from peasantry, plus two replenishment. Uh, more, you know what? Actually, more food from par farming would also be good. Let's get 25% uh, food from farming, actually, because I'm, I'm right now, I just, I, I'm actually at minus one food. Okay, so this is the problem. I've got three armies approaching me. Um... I don't see what's behind here and these armies might retrain might help one another but i'm gonna go attack this army all right it's what i suspected i'm gonna be attacked by two armies in this case but this is this is a very this is an easy battle compared to the battles i've been fighting recently so let's go ahead and start this battle this battle is a joke compared to the ones i've been fighting lately <laughs> Drinky, drinky. And, uh, yeah. This, uh, this campaign, this campaign has been exhausting. It's been pretty exhausting. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it though. I've had a ton of fun with it. Wow. What a conveniently placed forest for me. How helpful that is. Uh, the good news is that I don't have to, I can deploy wherever I want. So we're going to deploy my men here. We've got two trebuchets. And we're going to have to run our men forward to cover the trebuchet, but... That's fine. Alright. Make sure archers are off skirmish. And let's start the battle. Okay, trebuchets have already opened fire. We don't want their men reinforcing or anything anyway. Getting some nice shots in on their men. I don't think they like being attacked by my trebuchet so quickly. I don't think they're enjoying that. I 
The cavalry is kind of buzzing about. Oh, all of those shots kind of landed in the same vicinity. It's pretty funny. So they're finally moving forward. Uh, they've got cavalry on the way. We're still not quite in position yet. <laughs> Make sure we are aiming for the center mass of their men here. It's a shield wall, my men. they have that many archers either do they just noticing i don't think that mounted lancer militia is going to get very close let's go ahead and charge their cavalry we don't want our own cavalry to get charged um So I'd like to fix them with my spearmen and then charge them with my swords. Okay, archers are doing their work. We are under some crossbow fire here. All right, I'm gonna get charged. As always, one of their generals is going to charge my rapid tigers because I can never get a clean rapid tiger charge. They always, one of my units of rapid tigers just always has to get annihilated by a cavalry charge. charging their crossbowmen uh let's go attack his general here oh uh, looks like we killed one of their generals we're gonna rear charge the saber militia we've got more forces more enemy forces that's the enemy reinforcements are arriving here This uh, strategist guy is going to fight on because of the fallen friend thing. Uh, let's go send the spear unit forward. I don't know how this saber militia is still fighting because considering it's completely surrounded, but it's a really tough militia, I guess. So we used all of our ammo on that incoming army so we just had this this uh the reinforcing army left which was pretty small if i remember correctly we did use all of our ammo we have no ammo it looks like he is also breaking Be nice to reform my cavalry here. It's a shame that Rapid Tiger got so wrecked, but kind of is what it is. What are you going to do? 
The a the AI is gonna get its pound of flesh every time. Okay, we are charging this unit of cavalry here. Mounted Lancer Militias. More Mounted Lancer Militias are arriving. Whoa, is this a Saber Militia still alive somehow? How are they alive? We'll go send my general to deal with that. Um, I think my general should be able to take this, right? There we go. Okay, the second army is arriving. Um, Let's get my Azure Dragons ready. The Azure Dragons actually have all of their ammo. I should pop them in the fire at will. <laughs> How do they have, they just have... All right, we need to pull back all these men. We did, we did route most of their cavalry in this case, but... All right, we're getting caught up, hung up on their uh, their cavalry coming up behind me. Uh, shield, shields. I guess go ahead and shoot, right? Like you guys got your bows. Okay, my spearmen here are in the shield formation. They're going to be drawing a lot of fire, which is nice. All right, let's split up the cavalry. Um, let's go bring over this general here for moral support as well. That is a Jian Sword Cavalry right here. Let's go charge them. Alright, we don't want their generals to get a charge on me here, so we're going to charge these generals with my spears. We're going to charge this general down, too. There's just too many generals, man. Generals are just everywhere. Ugh. Who needs units when you just have generals bodyguard? That's all you need, man. I really need to be careful. This is the commander of this army. I definitely don't want to lose the commander of this army. All right, looks like, uh, yeah, that's the army losses took effect. All right, GG. Ugh. Another, another big ass battle won by me. I feel like that uh, could have gone a little bit better, but I'm not gonna be, too, I'm not gonna be too upset. Cavalry did their job well. General's got a ton of kills. GG. The two large armies in my lands that I just kicked out. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. All I need is that army to return from the north. If I can get that army back from the north. Oh, there's a nice decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good one. 
If I kill him, I gain the bodyguard. I would love to get the bodyguard. All right. Let's go ahead and recruit. Uh, we we'll ransom. 1,200 income would be pretty nice. I need, I need, that's like my economy right now is based upon that. <laughs> All right, so there's another army over here. It's a Yuan Tan army. Let's pull back here. Uh, this general's leveled up. Oh, we, I think, don't we want to do this? So we don't have fire. Well, no, we do have fire arrows, right? It's flaming shot. We do have flaming shot. Abundance, strategist, plus 12, cunning, authority, uh, plus 8, cunning. Fire arrows could be nice. Let's go ahead and give him this for 12, cunning, I think. We'll do that. That'd be nice. And uh, this guy also leveled up, Yang Huai. There's 5 replenishments. 25% uh, running speed. Vanguard. 40% melee attack rate. Melee armor piercing damage for his own army. Uh, 25 charge bonus. Let's go with the 25 charge bonus there. That'll be nice. We'll let that army recover for a turn. Let's see. We need a bunch of shit. I almost wonder if anybody at this point would like consult, con uh, consider trading with me. I've had three trade partners. Looks like Yu Ming Shang might. Where's Yu Ming Shang? Would you like a trade agreement? Not even close. I mean, what if I gave them a bunch of slaves, though? A bunch of slaves and ancillaries and shit? Like, what if I gave you the military G? That helps a bit. Give you that. I have no armor to give you. I can give you a farm manager. I can give you a wooden dog and a clay pig. All right, let's do it. And this will give me a trade agreement. Sure. Deal signed. Okay. Hey, that brought my income up a lot. <laughs> All right, please, Yu Ming Shang, don't don't betray me. I just want to I just want to trade. Oh, I think we can actually we can attack up here. Uh, this is telling me it's going to be a close victory. It's such bullshit. They've got nothing. Right, we're just going to delegate because I I don't want to fight these crappy sieges. Yeah, 523 losses is absurd, but whatever. Occupy. All right. So, kick Liu Bei out of there. Dude, we've almost secured the entire Northwest. And next up, we're going to go for uh, Anding, which is farmland over here. I profoundly hope that I don't lose this battle to this guy. He just has militia. Yeah, I actually am taking attrition. I am taking attrition. Fuck, man. He outnumbers me two to one. He's just he's just gonna starve me out, isn't he? Oh my god, this pisses me off. He's this army is such garbage. I can't. It pisses me off so bad, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to raise an army to go take care of that. I'm gonna have to. I have to raise an army of Jin Chang just to take care of that, because I don't want to send this army all the way back there. Do you know how long it just takes so long to get anywhere up here? If he attacks the walls, I have a chance of surviving. If he doesn't, we're just dead. <laughs> And I'll lose that crappy that crappy area. Um. So we're kind of playing cat and mouse with Cow Cow over here. He's got two two full sized armies right here. 
I'm not really scared of either, but um, these armies are still retraining right now. They got they got really banged up. One or two more turns and they should be fine though. Two turns, one turn, two turns. Yeah, just a few more turns and they'll be fine. What about this shit? Right. Um, can I go take care of? Can I send soon? No, Sensei can't move. All right, let's go take a look at Yuan Chu. I don't think Yuan Chu is doing much either. Right, he's just kind of retraining himself. See, I would love to go push east and try to take some of these lands, but it's just not going to work. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I wonder where where is... Oh, so that's... Kang Wu is their capital. So we're going to need to get... We're going to need to take their capital at some point. So I guess I'll put Yuan Shu back in Jiangling, and there's really nothing else I can do. If I move, if I move him, if I move that army out there, then soon, soon Jian's gonna swoop in any moment. Uh, and I guess let's uh, save and end a turn real fast, and I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode. I want to see. I want to end one more turn though. Wow, so there's Zhang Fei. I thought he I thought he was dead. He is not dead. Uh I'm being attacked by this army. I'm gonna try to retreat. I think I know for a fact I can win this, but I, I would prefer to retreat slightly. I wanna retreat because I can get another train another turn of retraining in here. Yeah, they are massively gearing up for an attack here on uh, at Chen. I think two of Cao Cao's armies have now fortified. And let's see. So am I? Is that is this a trade port? Is that why I can see way over here because I'm trading with that person? I think that might be why. It's like Ying Jing died and now Liu Zi is in charge of Liu Bei. Um, so uh, Sima Yi is almost back to full strength. One more turn, I think. It's like one or two more turns. Yeah, one more turn and he'll be back to full strength. So the fact that these armies are fortified means I think I can attack them and they can't reinforce i think right campaign movement recruitment and replenishment i'm not sure i don't think they can re i don't know if they can reinforce one another or not i don't know um yuan shu is retraining it really sucks that yuan shu got turned into like a border guard and that's like all he can do We're going to go send this army down here to go deal with this. Go and move them down. Uh, I could upgrade the city to a, a large town. God damn it, dude. I wish they would just fucking attack, man. They just they refuse. Uh, you know what I think it is? I think it's because the AI doesn't make siege weapons very often. So they don't want to attack because they don't want to try to batter down your walls with the gate or with the battering ram. And they don't want to try undermining either. They're like, I think the AI just like never does that. So there's lots of armies here I could attack. I kind of want to go move this army to go attack Zhang Fei. Uh, we could go do that. And then try to come back. This is the Yuan Tarn army that just ran away from me. So that's going to have to wait though. I don't know where that army is on its way to. Yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and have to end this episode. Uh, let's go ahead and save our game. Uh, more battles come when we come back to this episode. When we come back to the campaign, I'm going to have to uh, go decide what I'm going to do with those cow uh, cow armies that are there. So it kind of feels like my land, like in the past, like however many turns, it kind of feels like my land hasn't expanded that much. Like if you compare it to like turn 99 that now turn 115 really like i've actually lost some areas in the east and i've i've solidified control over the northwest but 
we're kind of just like we're just caught in this constant fighting and i just can't make any progress i'm just i'm just barely keeping my head above water right now but someday that'll turn around but uh anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying the yuan shu campaign uh more yuan shu and three kingdoms total war to come thank you so much for watching i will see you guys later bye